Hi everyone, welcome to our first video in which we are going to talk about the first hominins which appeared between 8 and 5 million years ago. These first hominins differentiated themselves from the common ancestor of humans and chimpanzees or panins. So we are going to talk about the candidates of being around this first speciation event. 8 million years ago, Africa was covered by forests, rivers and lakes, and because of this all primates were tree dwellers. However, during the period from 8 to 5 million years ago, the earth began to dry and cool. This drying occurred because ice sheets got bigger and extended themselves. Hominin evolution began in Africa at this time. The forest became less dense and grasslands appeared between tree patches. The common ancestor of modern human and chimpanzees probably lived in dense forests and its descendants became adapted to live in the ground and in the new habitat that, got, that was gradually appearing. Every fossil candidate to be an early hominin has been found in places in which the evidence suggests a combination of habitats existed, woodland, grassland, lakes and gallery forests along rivers. Therefore, it's thought that early hominins lived both in trees and in the ground. From trees, they obtained fruit, nesting sites and protection whilst from the ground they obtain new food, new food sources as tubers or fish and mollusks from rivers. There are a lot of differences between the skeletons of living chimpanzees and modern humans. However, this difference must not be so clear if we are trying to differentiate an hypothetic early hominin from a hypothetic early panin. It's thought that the pan homo common ancestor must have been more like a chimp than like a human. This way, its skeleton should show evidence of being adapted to tree life, with curved fingers able to grasp branches. Its face would look snoot-like and not flat, and its jaws would have not too big chewing teeth, big cannons and big upper central incisor teeth. The first hominins, compared to the chimp human common ancestor, might have had smaller cannon teeth, larger chewing teeth and thicker lower jaws. Apart from these changes, there might also have been changes in the skull and skeleton related to more time spent upright and with a bigger dependence of the hind limbs for bipedal walking. Some of these changes would have been a forward shift of the place where the brain connects with the spinal cord, which is called foramen magnum, in order to have a better balance of the head and the body, with a more vertical trunk, wider hips, straighter knees and a more stable foot. There is not good evidence to be able to differentiate the earliest hominins from non hominins reliably. However, researchers have proposed four species for the title of the earliest hominin. One of the main problems to study them is that the existing evidence is very small. All the fossil evidence available could fit a supermarket trolley and still there would be a space left. These four species are Sahelanthropus chalensis, Ororintuhanensis, Ardipithecus cadaver, and Ardipithecus ramidus. As we will comment, there is great debate regarding Ororintuhanensis and Ardipithecus cadaver as early hominins. Sahelanthropus is the oldest contender, and it was discovered by Mike Chelbrunet and his team. It has been dated between 7 and 6 million years ago, and was found in West, West Central Africa, in Chad. This region is near the Sahara Desert, but a long time ago it was very different. This hominin lived in a complex habitat with lakes, woodland, and rivers, bordered by forests. The finds include a complete but distorted cranium which has been virtually straightened out in order to be able to compare it properly. The brain has the size, has the size of chimps, but the upper part of the face has broad ridges like the one seen in hominins. The jaws are thicker than the one of chimps and some features of the canines point towards the possibility of an early hominin. However, it's a matter of debate whether this species is a hominin. If it really is a hominin, the location of the evidence would mean that earliest hominins occupied a wider area of Africa than previously thought. The second oldest potential hominin species is Orrorin tuhanensis. The fossil evidence was found in Tuhan Hills of northern Kenya and has been dated to around 6 million years ago. The reasons to consider this species a hominin are two, one cranial and the other, and the other postcranial. The first one is the thick enamel found in the molar and premolar teeth of this species. Enamel this teeth is not found in panis and is only found in later, in later and ambiguous hominins. 
However, the stronger evidence comes from the part of the femur below the hip. They say that the preferential stiffness on the bottom and top of the cortical bone of the neck of the femur found is characteristic of bipeds and not of pines. However, it's not also very clear if this evidence belongs to an early hominin as there are also critics to this hypothesis. It can be concluded that it's a creature, creature related to the common ancestor of panins and hominins. The other two fossil collections that might be from an early hominin are both included in the same genus, Adipithecus. The oldest fossil collection, from 5.7 to 5.2 million years ago, is assigned to Ardipithecus cadaver from the Middle Awas region of Ethiopia. However, considering Ardipithecus cadaver as a hominin is not a strong position, as there are strong doubts about it. The second collection of Ardipithecus fossils comes from the Middle Awas and Gona regions of Ethiopia. They date from around 4.5 million years ago, and they may have persisted to around 4 million years ago. The fossil collection includes teeth, parts of several jaws, some small hand and foot bones, and part of the underside of a cranium. It's assigned to the genus Ardipithecus, but in a separate species called Ardipithecus ramidus, because its discoverers think that its canines are less ape-like than those of Ardipithecus cadaver. A female's skeleton was in good conditions, and she was named Ardi. The discovery of, of this species was awarded by the Science Journal with the title of Breakthrough of the Year. Several features link Ardipithecus ramidus with hominins, the stronger evidence being the position of the foramen magnum, the place where the brain connects with the spinal cord. In Ardipithecus ramidus, this opening is farther forward than in chimpanzees, though not as far forward as in modern humans. This is a change that was expected to have happened in early hominins in order to have a better balance of the head and the body to be able to stay upright. However, we currently lack information about the size of the brain of Ardipithecus ramidus, and evidence for its posture and locomotion, locomotion is not very good. It's important to realize that in terms of size, both Ardipithecus radavas and Ardipithecus ramidus were like a small adult modern chimpanzee. Although there were changes in the teeth and the base of the skull, in overall appearance, Ardipithecus ramidus would have been more like a chimpanzee than like a modern human. So, to sum up, out for the four potential hominins, Sahelanthropus chalensis and Ardipithecus ramidus have the strongest cases for being included in the hominin clade. So, this is all for now. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Goodbye!